the beauty of a California beach day, broken by the startling sight of sickness and death. It has been quite uh, awful. We've uh, been seeing at least two or three of them wash up every evening. Scientists call it a microscopic menace, toxic algae blooms poisoning the California coast. Toxins build up in their system and uh, can lead to all sorts of issues. Along the Southern California coast, officials estimate more than a thousand calls for sea lions and dolphins, either dead or showing signs of sickness. It affects uh, the brains and the heart, um, can lead to seizures, can lead to disorientation, aggression, as well as uh, miscarriages and death. Biologists say it's likely a toxic algae bloom called pseudonychia, which can be eaten by small sea creatures, then turned into a neurotoxin when consumed by larger marine life. The Marine Mammal Care Center says there's been 50 rescues in the past two weeks alone. And behind me, another dolphin washed up on shore. Researchers now taking measurements, collecting samples, and waiting for test results to find out if it really is this algae. And if it is, it's more than just wildlife at risk. The California Department of Health warning against eating sport-harvested mussels, clams, or scallops from Santa Barbara County. I've never seen anything like this. To my recollection, this is uh, the largest pulse of, of animals that we've had, at least in the marine mammal uh, response side. Scientists scrambling for answers with wildlife rescue efforts around the clock. Steve Patterson, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.